Deputies say when this video starts, Adam Stogner had forgotten to put his truck in park. They say that backs up the reason he was pulled over. The deputy believed he was impaired. After asking for Stogner's license, the deputy asks. You got your hand right there, man. Give me your hand. I promise you. Pay attention to the subject's right hand. Open your hand. Open your hand. Deputies say they believe Stogner has a baggie of narcotics in his right hand. They say pay attention to what he does next. The tape shows Stogner moving something from one hand to the other and placing it in his mouth. You see him put it in his mouth? Right there, and that's where the, this is where the struggle starts. Put it out! All this while the deputy is trying to handcuff the man. The deputy does get one cuff on, but because the two seem to be in a wrestling match, they say the loose cuff can be a weapon. At several points, you can see what looks like the deputy hitting Stogner. The sheriff's office says at another time, it looks like Stogner is crawling toward the interstate with the deputy on his back. And again, it appears the deputy hits the man. He uh, was appropriate in his actions. He followed departmental protocol. Only after two more officers arrive on scene is Stogner completely cuffed. Keep in mind the baggie is still in his mouth. It's then that one of the officers notices Stogner is having trouble breathing and calls for medical help. You breathing? I will. Deputies say Stogner later died along the interstate. Peter John, the family's lawyer, says one thing is clear from this tape. He says Adam Stogner never tried to hit the deputy. Adam got his butt beat because he's all bruised up and dead.